and welcome to another episode of Anfield Index TV. I'm Nina Kauser and on today's episode, because there hasn't been an awful lot of football to fume over, I thought I'd take Klopp's comments in the press last week, which caused quite um, a storm on Twitter, shall we say. And the main focus of this episode is going to be Liverpool's bad form. Is it down to bad planning or sheer bad luck? So if you want to know what the fans had to say and what I had to say, just keep watching. Okay, so let's see what you lovely people on Twitter had to say. The first tweet is by at fee 544 and he seems to think it's all bad planning and nothing to do with bad luck. Everyone foresaw what was going to happen in August, hence why fans are absolutely furious. Interesting. This tweet is by Hanka Red and he seems to think it is bad planning, however he does compliment Jurgen Klopp and gives him credit for overachieving in the first half of the season and I think that's a valid point. I always say Liverpool massively overachieved. So yep, agree with you there, Hanka Red. Lloyd, my good friend at Gun Gun Pistol, seems to think it's all bad planning and nothing to do with bad luck. Everything that happened wasn't down to bad luck. Um, you know, injuries and such things were not unforeseen circumstances. Hey Lloyd, me and you are going to fall out. <laughs> well, it's good to know my other Anfield Index colleague has my back, Goffy Andrew McGough, thank you so much, tweets unforeseen circumstances such as injuries and... Um, players dip in form, Lalana Origi, I have to kind of um, agree with him there, those for me that is bad luck, so cheers Goffey. Meanwhile at Barnes 4 seems to think it's a perfect storm if you compare the 10 games that we had in January, that jam-packed fixture, and then you look at the only three games that we played in February, players will be much more rested, and there were so many injuries in January, so fair point and a good comment there by Barnsley. Meanwhile, my other good friend, Kaylon, seems to think it's really hard to weigh in on bad planning because Klopp's here for the long run and right now he's doing nothing more than manage our expectations. I wonder if he's had a look at Twitter recently. And lastly, Lee Boy seems to think it is a combination of both. However, fans foresaw all this and if he, he seems to think that the, the squad looked really thin and weak in, in August especially the bench, hence why fans are so furious right now. I mean, I don't know, I, I remember August, I remember the first few games and I have to slightly disagree with you there, um, Lee Boy, because that was one of the healthiest benches I've seen in a very long time as a Liverpool fan. You know, we've always had a weak bench and then a starting 11. That was the first time ever I thought, wow, the bench actually looks really solid. It's like looking weaker as the injuries came in because those players had to be included into first team action, but have to slightly disagree with you there okay thank you so much for your tweets there were so many more huge thank you to everyone who contributed and um if you want to know how i vote on this subject just keep watching to the cows corner <laughs> So once again guys so many awesome responses there for bad planning and bad luck um for me it's not black and white I'm somewhere in the middle I, I think it's a combination of both I think if you kind of um look at maybe not being as aggressive in the transfer window not rotating players not resting players all those things considered then for me that is bad planning but then if you kind of look at injuries and you know injuries altogether to pl to players and then you look at, you know, dips in form in Lalana, in Jean, in, in Firmino, in, in Coutinho coming back from injury. Yeah, players lose form. That's That happens in football. You know, you're not consistent all the time. But for all your major stars to go out all at once, to crash and burn, for me, that's real bad luck. And some people will argue that, well, there should have been a replacement for Mane and such things. And I've heard that. And, you know, it is... A valid point however how do you go about recruiting a like for like replacement for Mane whilst he's away in AFCON for two weeks and then expect him to play for second fiddle t to Mane I mean name me a player that'll do that I can't think of any so yep that's my thoughts I think it is a massive combination of both I do get frustrated that we didn't rotate but I hope we learn for the future this is the end of this episode of nina cows a huge thank you to everyone who tweeted 
and whilst you're here don't forget to hit the subscribe button down below and hit a like on the video and if you've got any feedback on what you think it is feel free to tweet me at Nina Kauser and in the meantime do not forget to download the Anfield Index app it's completely free so much great content till next time I'll catch you in my next video Thank <laughs> you.